Hello and welcome all. Welcome back to the Import Export Hub channel, everybody. Bias Bogdan here, your host for the next uh, 10 minutes or so. Thanks for joining me. And uh, guys, without asking you to hit those small buttons below this video, allow me to present you five products that are worth importing from uh, Germany. And uh, my first recommendation, guys, comes from heading 9031. So we are talking about measuring or checking instruments and the like. And we see that in uh, 2022, Germany's exports from this particular heading amounted to some $8.78 billion with China here, the United States and Italy as the main uh, partners, which were followed in this uh, top 10 list by others like, I don't know, the Netherlands, Japan or uh, Poland. This uh, last one managing to import in uh, 2022 some $234 million of goods from this heading. And uh, overall, these top 10 partners uh, make up for some 62% uh, in terms of uh, cumulative value relative to partner concentration, which is very good, even though uh, China here, uh, Germany's uh, traditional partner, too, if you want, for uh, the last five years, has a share of some 20%. Now, in terms of uh, compound annual growth rate for the last five years, we have a negative 2.6%, while on a year on year basis, the drop is larger, some 6%, uh, which translated into some $528 million fewer exports for Germany. And uh, guys, speaking of year on year dynamics, we see that the largest absolute uh, negative change happened uh, in relation with China, some $121 million fewer exports. While on the positive side, if you want, uh, again, in absolute terms, we have the United States who managed to import from Germany with some $41.5 million more relative to uh, 2021. As for uh, the main drivers, well, we have subheading 903180 towards China, while uh, towards uh, Japan we have subheading 903149. So we are talking about optical instruments, appliances, and machines for measuring or checking. Jumping now, guys, to my second recommendation for you, we have here heading 3926. So articles of plastics with some $10.9 billion worth of exports with uh, China, the United States and France as the main partners, which were followed by others like, I don't know, Austria, uh, Switzerland or the United Kingdom. This last one with some $407 million worth of imports from Germany. As we can see here, the partners are quite evenly distributed with an average uh, around 6%, let's say, for each partner in this top 10 list, which uh, totals some uh, five, uh, 59%, which is, again, very good. And uh, we can also observe uh, how, how dynamic uh, the exports were on a year-on-year -year basis in what concerns the main partner, at least, as in uh, 2018, we had the Czech Republic, then in 2019, uh, France, and from 2022, China basically took the first place and uh, my guess is that this is highly correlated with uh, Germany's foreign direct investment in China. Now uh, relative to the year on year dynamic, uh, unfortunately for this uh, heading also we have a negative change, some uh, 6% uh, relative uh, overall with only the United States here managing to have a positive change, some 1.3% or uh, $11 million, if I were to put a dollar value to this uh, percentage. And uh, guys, speaking of um, the United States, in terms of uh, main drivers, we see that articles of plastic, so subheading 392690, drove most of uh, Germany's exports, and uh, the same holds true for the Czech Republic, whose uh, imports from Germany shrunk with some $47 million. Moving now to my third uh, recommendation, we have uh, heading 8501, uh, electric motors and uh, generators, excluding here generating sets, with some uh, $8.6 billion worth of exports for 2022 
with uh, China, the United States and uh, the Czech Republic as the main partners, which were followed in this top 10 list by others like, I don't know, Italy, Spain or uh, Hungary, to mention just a couple from uh, this list. Um, now, relative to the share each country holds in terms of um, exports um, for this uh, heading. The United States and China are both around 11.5% while the others make up for the rest and still 62% which again is a very very good figure. Now in uh, terms of uh, year-on-year dynamics um, things look good even though we're talking about just uh, 1% uh, increase basically but uh, given the absolute value which is around 87 million dollars I think uh, this is not uh, negligible with the United States uh, basically offsetting the negative results coming from Italy or France who both had strong contractions in 2022. As uh, for the main drivers um, here, well, we have AC motors, a multi-phase of an output uh, bigger than 750 watts, but smaller or equal to 50, uh, 75 kilowatts. Uh, as for Spain, uh, we have again AC motors, multi-phase, but this time with an output bigger than 75 kilowatts. Jumping now, guys, to my fourth recommendation, we have uh, heading 9026. So we are talking about instruments and apparatus for measuring or checking the flow level pressure of liquids or gases with some $4.9 billion worth of exports in uh, 2022, which is 7% lower than uh, in uh, 2021 with China, the United States and France as the main partners um, followed in this top 10 list by others like, I don't know, Poland, Spain or uh, the Switzerland. And again, we have a very, very good figure in what uh, concerns the community value of the top 10 partners, which uh, make up for almost 61%. Now, in what uh, concerns the year-on-year -year dynamics, we have uh, a contraction here, quite large, if you ask me, some uh, $375 million in absolute terms, with almost all the top 10 uh, partners having registered the contractions, uh, with the United States uh, here making an exception, if you want, as it managed to import with some $17 million more but uh, clearly not enough to offset the figures coming from uh, the other partners, especially China, with its $90 million contraction. As for the main uh, drivers, well, we have again the same one for both examples here, so France and Switzerland, <coughs> sorry, and we're talking about instruments and apparatus for uh, measuring or checking pressure of liquids or gases, uh, excluding here regulators. So we are talking about subheading 902620. And uh, guys, uh, lastly, my fifth uh, recommendation for you, so bear with me a little bit more, uh, comes from heading 8474. So we are talking about machinery for sorting, screening, washing, uh, crani uh, crushing, uh, and the like, uh, with some $2.17 billion worth of exports for 2022 which is 1% less than in the previous year with the uh, United States here, France and China as the main partners, which were followed by others like, I don't know, the Russian Federation, Turkey or uh, Poland. This last one managing to import some $65.5 million worth of goods from this particular heading. Now, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, we have a small negative uh, 1%, as I've said previously, which uh, translated into some $22 million, roughly. And uh, the United States uh, figures uh, basically didn't manage to offset the negative values coming from the other partners. And uh, just for your information, guys, I've added another important partner for Germany, Australia, who also had a considerable uh, contraction, some $22.2 million. As uh, for the main drivers, well, we have machinery for agglomerating solid mineral fuels or ceramic paste towards the Russian Federation and uh, parts of uh, machinery for working mineral substances towards uh, India. So we are talking about subheading 847490. 
and uh, guys with this last product being covered as well that's all for today thank me by uh, hitting those small buttons below this video uh, i hope you've liked it don't forget to leave a comment if you have one and uh, guys as usual until next time keep your business safe thanks